Hey, 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 today we're going to share with you how to make this beautiful stone necklace. You can sell it, you can make it for your friends, it's a beautiful gift. Teens and adults can make this project happen and it's just something beautiful to work on. You're going to need one millimeter cotton twine, scissors, gemstone, and that's about it. We're going to measure 32 inches of this cotton twine and we're going to need three pieces like that. We're going to create the necklace around the stone and that's why we measure out the first hoop for the stone. That's where is the base of the stone. We're going to secure these hoops with little knots. So you want to keep your fingers right at the place where the hoop should end. And you need to be precise, otherwise it might be too big for the stone and it just won't fit in. So yes, now we're going to get another thread and we're going to form another side of the necklace and we're going to do the same thing with the third part of the necklace and this is going to be our base for the stone that will keep the stone in place. Now the goal is to create this sort of net-like system where we're going to place our little stone and that's where we start forming other hoops around it. You want to measure the hoop and keep your fingers in place and then make a knot. And actually this is exactly what we're going to do around the whole stone. We're just going to do that on the other sides as well. Make sure you're careful with your knots. Don't rush it. You want to make sure that your hoops are just the right size to keep the stone and look nice. And we're just going to do the same thing over and over again around the whole stone until it's fully covered and fully nested in just like that. Once we're finished with the stone, with the net around it, we're gonna want to make a final bigger knot just to secure the stone inside the necklace. Make sure you do it right, don't leave any loose ends, so it's tied around the stone. For the final step, we want to separate the threads into two parts and just braid them. It's a pretty easy procedure. If you have ever braided hair, you'll know what to do. Either way, you can always find a tutorial online on how to do it. And we're just going to braid it all the way to the very tips of the threads and make a final knot. Make sure your necklace is long enough or short enough for you. Make sure to cut off the very ends of the threads and that's it, your necklace is ready to be worn. It's a beautiful craft anyone can make. If you love this DIY project, please come for more, like this video, subscribe and visit craftsyhacks.com. Thank you!